Testing one two one two. Okay, we're live. All systems go. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And today we're here to talk about when should you start to consider selling your Oculus Quest if indeed you have one. But first, I'd like to welcome you if it's your first time here to the channel, as always, and also a big welcome back to all our regular viewers and subscribers, our awesome subscribers, because it is thanks to you. At the end of the day, then I want to continue uploading these awesome videos to the YouTube VR channel. Now, by the way, just to let you guys know that coming very soon, let me just transition over very quickly. Uh, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of different interviews. Uh, so let me just show recordings. Here we go. Uh, so we we interviewed all the guys from Carly the Reaper Man, uh, the guys who did O Shape, Last Samurai, uh, Walkabout, Mini Golf, um, the guys. Uh, who did uh, Pixel, Pixel Ripped, uh, the guys from Pico, Sucker Punch, VR, Synth Riders, VR Skater, Your VR, and so many others. Uh, I'm really super psyched about this. This is coming very soon. I just need to start to edit the videos. That's it. But today, here, let's transition over again because we're here to talk about when you should sell the Oculus Quest 2 or at least start to consider selling it because, of course, undoubtedly, a new headset's going to be on the way very soon. And also, prices are going to be affected by certain different things. So let's transition over again. And this time we'll go to our, here we go. Now, the first thing you need to know is that there will be an event uh, on October 28th, uh, the next Facebook Connect, which basically will reveal everything about what's coming up with the Oculus, when the Oculus 3 will be revealed and all those kind of things. And also, if you guys go back to our YouTube channel, you'll notice that about uh, a week ago, we did uh, a couple weeks ago, six days ago, we did a video um, all about save your money, don't buy the Oculus Quest. So if you haven't purchased it, I really suggest you go and watch that video uh, because basically I give you some tips as to when potentially the new Oculus Quest 3 will be coming out and whether you should actually buy the Oculus Quest 2 now or wait go and check out the video the answer is in there it's very very simple um okay so let's transition back so that's the first thing so october 28 we got the facebook connect come in uh, oculus will reveal when it's going to be out now i anticipate uh the oculus quest 3 to be announced around may uh because of the history uh there's always around one year or 15 months between the oculus quests uh devices that are sold so that's my personal hypothesis. And also, they're pretty much done with the Oculus Quest 3 now, uh, as they're already starting to work on the Oculus Quest 4 uh, and other, um, of course, other headsets as well. So that's my take on it. Now, the other thing, of course, is that we have to take into account uh, Christmas, which is going to be coming up very soon as well. So generally speaking, Christmas is where everyone is going to rush out to try and buy the Oculus Quest. So, you know, now depending where you are in the world in Asia, generally speaking, they don't really like to buy secondhand things as Christmas presents. But I know that in the UK and perhaps in the US, I'm not sure. Uh, but when I used to live in the UK and France, we were OK to buy secondhand things, um, you know, pretty okay we don't have to buy it new as long as it's in good condition and it works and there is a warranty still and also um you know it looks in a good shape as i mentioned then it should be absolutely okay but generally speaking you know oculus may also do and not just oculus maybe some distributors might also do some bundles or some games or some accessories or something so it might actually affect the price now the other thing we need to talk about of course is the oculus quest 2 uh, 64 gigabytes because unfortunately this one has been discontinued um, you know and as I mentioned before Oculus were actually very very cheeky to take off the Oculus Quest 2 64 gigabytes from you know from their sales they didn't tell anyone they just recalled all the products because apparently some phone was causing some allergies now of course that's something that needs to be taken care of and something we need to take very seriously of course but i'm just saying it seemed to be very coincidental that they removed it because of that and then they didn't tell the general public about the 128 uh coming out even though it's just a bump in the memory at the end of the day it's a better headset all right it's better memory that you can't physically change 
yourself. So that's something that's done by the manufacturer. So, you know, and they didn't increase the price. And a lot of people didn't get refunds or weren't told and felt quite cheated. Um, you know, so again, do go and look at previous videos we uploaded to the YouTube channel about this. Um, so, you know, the Oculus Quest 2 64 gigabyte, when should you start selling, selling that? Um, honestly, I think that if you have an Oculus Quest um, to 64 gigabyte, you should really consider starting to sell it now. Um, simply because, first of all, the price, there's a new, there's a new one, it's a 128 now. So the 128 is very much ahead of the 64. The 64 cannot meet the price of a 128 on the second hand market. In my opinion, I could be wrong, of course. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Whether you think the 64 gigabyte will be, will match the same price as the 128 in the resale market or whether you think I'm right. And at the end of the day, the 64 gigabyte, you could purchase it for maybe $50 less, $100 less. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I think if you have the 64 gigabyte, sell it now before it's too late. You know, especially if you're someone who doesn't like to keep your equipment and store it somewhere and it gets clogged up with everything else and you end up throwing it away a year later because it doesn't work. You haven't switched it on for a year because you had a new headset or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to, if you're looking to make money from your headset and you don't want to make too many losses, you know, obviously this video is not for those who are not looking to sell the Quest. Um, but if you are looking to sell it, I would say sell it now. The 64 gigabyte, I doubt very much will become a collector's item, to be honest. Uh, I think the Oculus Quest 1 will be more of a collector's item, especially if you kept the box and the box is in a very good condition or even better still, you didn't even open your Oculus Quest 1. You bought two, you have one in its sealed packaging. Then of course the worth of that will be much higher Maybe 20 years from now though, not so soon, not a year or two from now. But let's go back to the screen and check out the prices on eBay because I think it's very interesting as to what's going on there. Um, if we go on eBay and we look at the Oculus Quest 2, now this is all US dollars, by the way. Uh, Oculus Quest, and this is um, under the used, okay, I put it under used, so not new, obviously. So on eBay, you can buy a new Oculus Quest 2 now for around, well, I mean, it starts off, we have a price here, 224 US dollars, we have 200 US dollars. Now, these obviously are bids, uh, which means the price can increase, but I very much doubt that the price, of course, um, you know, would increase <laughs> so much higher that basically, um, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's going to be higher than the retail price on Amazon, for example, or at your Best Buy or wherever you're buying it from. Um, we also have here pre owned 299, 256 gigabyte. Not too bad, but honestly speaking, I think, you know, as I mentioned, we're not talking about buying the Oculus Quest here. We're talking about selling. If you're looking at buying, wait until October 28th for Facebook Connect before you splash your cash because it's very possible Oculus Quest 3 is right around the corner. That's my personal opinion. I could be completely wrong. Again, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you think Oculus Quest 3 will be out Christmas or around May or perhaps later, let me know. Um, let's have a good debate. We also have a 64 gigabyte, 280. No, thank you. I would never buy that. Uh, two, Oculus Quest 2, 64 gigabyte, 251. No, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, Oculus Quest 2, 256 gigabyte, 299. No, thank you. Goodbye. I, would, I just would not buy that. Uh, Oculus Quest 2, 256 gigabyte. Well, what's wrong with it? That's the first question I would ask. Um, Oculus Quest 2, 64 gigabyte, $200. No, thank you. See you later. Uh, Oculus Quest 2 Advanced Only One Virtual Headset, 64 gigabytes, 174. Now this to me is more reasonable. I definitely think that if you're going to sell your Oculus Quest 2 now, you could maybe get between 100 US dollars to 150 US dollars if you're lucky. And also depending on where you are in the world, of course, the price will differ. Um, you know, but I'm saying 164 is already kind of the, uh, I would say the high end of the second, uh, second hand retail market, but it will also depend of course on the warranty. If you only have six months warranty, then, you know, mm, who knows where it's going to be. If you have two months warranty left, then of course the price will, will dip. And if the warranty is about nine months left or 10 months left, then you have a better price. So that's what I'm selling. The warranty is very much going to depend on the price you can sell it for. So the earliest you can sell it for, the 
better and then your oculus quest 2 if you wanted to buy a one to eight gigabyte until the oculus quest 3 comes out it won't cost you 299 plus shipping plus whatever uh tax vat all these kind of things it will only cost you maybe you know 100 us dollars and that's it so this is what i'm trying to tell you not necessarily get rid of it and never touch facebook like us because we don't have facebook headsets we don't believe in facebook we don't like facebook's products but if you you know, if you just want to be in VR and you don't care about all this Facebook stuff that we're into, then obviously I think sell it the earliest you can, the better, so that you can then buy this uh, another headset for less money is my point. You can recycle that money is my point. And then the other thing is, uh, if we go to, for example, Singapore are selling a secondhand uh, 64 gigabytes, 350 Singapore dollars. No, thank you. You must be crazy. Um, if I was to go here, so let me just go to Singapore dollar. Ba, 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 ba. Here it is. Let me change it. Let me put 350 and let you know what that is in uh, US dollars. That's 260 US dollars for 64 gigabytes second hand. No, thank you. See you later. You must be crazy. Um, 450, 64 gigabytes like new. No way. My God. Have you, I mean, in Singapore, drugs are legal. You get literally hanged for that stuff. But have you smoked something? Um, you know, are you high on coffee or something? My God, these people are crazy. <sighs> You know, okay, there are shipping fees for us, but at the end of the day, it should not cost that much secondhand. You're nuts. I would pay 150 Singapore dollars, maybe for Singapore, uh, for a secondhand uh, 64 gigabyte, which would be in US dollars about 111. Yes, that is the price I would buy for if I was to buy one, which I'm not. We sold all our Oculus Quest. So at the end of the day, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you guys that. Um, if you're looking to sell your Oculus Quest 64 gigabyte, sell it now. If you want to upgrade to a 128, then you can have a better warranty, of course, uh, and it won't cost you so much money. Yeah, it'll take you, you know, a few weeks to sell it, maybe two, three weeks, and two, three weeks later, you know, you can carry on using it, and then you you upgrade to the new one, right? Very simple. But if you wait two, three weeks, and two, three weeks time, I would not guarantee I would pay 150 US dollars for a 64 gigabyte secondhand Oculus Quest. I might buy 130 because the longer you leave it, the less the warranty is going to be, and I want warranty. If there's something wrong with it, I want to get it fixed, right? That's just normal. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you think I'm completely wrong. Love to open this discussion with you. Otherwise, one to eight gigabytes people who just bought it, I would sell it before Christmas because at Christmas time, you're going to compete with a lot of other people. I'm telling you now, but at the end of the day, if you don't want to sell your one to eight and you're looking to wait until the Oculus Quest 3, then of course, wait for October 28th uh, announcement. If Facebook and it is possible because they're super cheeky, they're li they've lied to you already about the 64 gigabyte being taken away and replaced by the one to eight gigabyte. They've lied to you about all some games not being able to be ported from Oculus Quest 1 to the Oculus Quest 2, making you have to basically sell your Quest 1 to get to the Quest 2. They've lied to you about so many other things in the past. You know, I'm just saying it's very possible. And they've also lied to you about the accessory, which snaps all the time. I'm just saying Facebook are not very honest company. They could lie to you again and suddenly release the Oculus Quest 3 at Christmas, which I anticipate to a certain degree. I'm not ruling it out. I'm not saying it will happen, but I'm certainly not ruling it out simply because of Facebook's background and history and the way that they do business uh, with the rest of the world is all I'm saying. Leave a comment below if you think it will be out at Christmas or whether you think it will be out at May or in the future even. So guys, there you have it. I think at the end of the day, I've answered the question. 64 gigabyte, I would sell it as soon as possible. One to eight. Wait until uh, the announcement of October 28th. Otherwise, sell it as soon as possible. If you think the Oculus Quest 3 will come out around Christmas, 256 gigabyte. You can sell it now as well. If you bought it a few months ago, I would sell it now simply because your warranty is going to run out. And also um, because, of course, you could also wait October 28th for the Facebook Oculus Quest 3 announcement as well. But there you go. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. But now let's go to your comments and also welcome some new subscribers to the channel because it's thanks to you that this channel keeps growing. Guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. I am pumped, but I got to say thank you to you. 
let's go and read some comments from the previous uh, video. So let's go to uh, our YouTube channel again. First, let's welcome some new subscribers. Hey guys. Oh, there we go. Um, your YouTube channel, YouTube studio. Here we go. All right, so let's welcome some new subscribers. You guys are so awesome, man. I love you guys. Seriously. I mean, this channel just could never, you know, grow out of you. You're just, you're just super awesome. All right, date subscribed. I'd like to welcome Lewis Merlin, Secat VR Fantasy Archive, Copyright Man, Rudy Day, Joanne Garcia, Iac Motorsports, Huawei, Ras, Stephen Reisman, Dave the Dev, Defective Penguin Games. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, Kevin King, Brendan Nealon, Dave Morgan, RCIP12, Natey, or Natty, not the other Natty, um, Mr. L. Styler, <clears throat> Dave Wall, Crisp203, Mitch Bowles, Arthur Allen. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. You're so super awesome. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now let's go and read some comments from the previous video as well, because I think it's all always interesting to read some comments from you guys. So, excuse me, going to cough. <sighs> it's a live video, unedited, unedited guys. Um, so let's uh, transition over, go back to the channel. Boom, here we go. Go to some comments from the previous videos. Uh, don't buy I Quest 2. Uh, here we go. So, Chana, uh, Chanyo Mays, more. thanks for your comment. Chito, thank you so much for your comment as well. Michael Line, thank you so much. Laos85, really appreciate your comment as well. V. Rosa, June Kusak, Ivan Draws, Casey the Clown, thank you guys so much for your comments. I already read your comments in the previous video. So, let me read the comments from these guys here instead. Uh, which was Byte Dance takes over uh, Pico, uh, which is uh, basically going to be Oculus Quest's biggest competitor. Um, Peg, now I can choose between one data hungry social media platform selling standard on VR at dumping prices versus another. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Uh, thanks for coming. Glenn Risk, uh, data mining isn't the problem. The problem is that while we observe the they remain hidden. Um, what we need is mandated universal transparency. Completely agree with you, Glenn Risk. Thank you so much for your comment. Really appreciate it. And let me go and read some other comments as well from our YouTube studio. Uh, let's go to latest comments. Here we go. View more. Guys, by the way, we do have some comments that are held for review. And generally speaking, they're always very rude, so I never read it. So I'm very sorry if your comments don't go on the post. Uh, but all the haters stuff goes in here and I, I'm not interested. Um, Charles Kabachow, how are you able to pay your Bluetooth earphones when running Windows Mixed Reality? Uh, I, I pair it via the computer. Uh, June Cusack, me who just got my Oculus. <laughs> all right, uh, let me put a heart and I'll reply individually later. The update ver version 32 doesn't have media sharing. I turned Bluetooth on and the cloud sharing didn't show up. Thanks, Sirens Fangirl2021, uh, for your comment. Grant Galloway, I've not got a clue what to do after watching this. Oh, well, sorry, mate. Can't please everybody, but thank you very much for your comment. I'll try to improve. Henry K, I know this is a two-year-old video, but I have a quick question. What are the most common causes for YouTube VR to crash and close on Oculus Quest 2? Um, I'm not quite sure. I think YouTube VR... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it still closes on on the Quest 2. To be honest, leave a comment below, guys, if you use YouTube VR on the Oculus Quest, and let us know if you have any issues, so you can answer this guy. That'll be really, really cool. Um, Pianos Dominix, nice editing. Always, you should do gaming PC giveaway. I uh, wish I could do a giveaway, but you know, it's not. It's not about me. I, th I think we need more guys. Smash the share. You need to share this video. Smash the like button. Comment as much as you can. Get as many views as we possibly can so the channel can grow as much as it can and then I can do giveaways. I could call HP, I can call Pico, I can call all these guys. Say, let's do a giveaway because until we reach, let's say, 10, 15K, I very much doubt they're gonna allow us to do a giveaway, guys. It's really, really that simple. Uh, okay, let's just read a couple more. Walt Falcon, how are you changing display resolution when VR mode? Um, there's a setting you can go, um, 
in, in, in the actual WMR settings, um, which I've showed in other videos. So go and watch those other videos. They're there. Uh, and then finally, now I can choose between what? Okay, yes, we already read this one. Uh, Damien Net, luckily Beat Saber not go on premium subscription like FitVR. Dropped to three star and it's game over. Oculus premium subscription is a total fail. What's happening to Oculus subscriptions, guys? Let me know in the comments below if you've paid for the Oculus subscriptions. Is it happening? Is it there? Has it been taken away? What's going on with it? Is it, is it coming out soon? Who knows? Leave a comment below. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for today. Really, really appreciate it. I love you guys. Really. God bless. Take it easy. I'll see you. I'll chat to you in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in another video very soon or in a previous video. Bye, guys. Take it easy.